Welcome back everyone. This is Tim Burwolf. I'm going to be discussing introduction to ethical hacking with you. So let's get started. So we're going to have some objectives. The module objectives will be to overview of the current security trends. We're going to understand the elements of information security. We're going to understand information security threats and attack vectors. And we're going to discuss an overview of hacking concepts, types, and phases as well as understanding ethical hacking concepts and scope. And we're going to be discussing the overview of information security management and defense in depth strategies. So that's not defense. We're going to be discussing defense in depth strategies, right? So they talked about how this was a 100% offensive course, nothing to do with defense. But obviously, we are going to be discussing some defense as well, um, quite a bit actually along the way. We're going to be discussing an overview of policies, procedures, and awareness. Which are your procedural controls, um, policies and procedures and awareness to keep your people sharp versus just trusting and being dependent on tools. Part of the defense in depth is to spread out your defense posture so you can do that through your workforce and your appliances right so right off the bat there in the first two bullets we're doing both of those defense in depth and we have procedural controls in place to help with that right so we have an overview we're going to discuss an overview of physical security and controls so like with physical security we'll be talking about that quite a bit too when we get to the cloud part of this course understanding incident management process so what does it mean to handle incident management we'll go we'll get into that Overview of uh, vulnerability assessments and penetration testing. So we're going to be discussing that quite a bit along, along the way. The difference between a vulnerability assessment and penetration testing, which together those are called a security assessment. So most of the time when people order a penetration test, that is not what they get. They get a vulnerability scan, right, which is not what you want. You need to understand that cold. And then an overview of information security acts and laws. So we'll get into that as well. So we're going to be discussing information security overviews, uh, information security threats and attack vectors, like where are our uh, threats and attacks coming from? Um, what, what posture does my network have that can be attacked? Where are my weaknesses? Where do I need to spend money hardening? That kind of stuff. So that's kind of what number two is about. And then number three, hacking concepts, types, and phases. So what is the life cycle of a hack? What does it look like? How, how am I going to be susceptible to this kind of thing? You know what I mean? How is this going to be thrown at me? We're going to talk about that so you can understand it. The more you understand how they think, the more you can understand how to defend. And we're going to be talking about both of those so you'll get that. So we're not training people how to get into your network. You need to understand 100% how they think and what they do and be able to do what they do to be able to defend properly. We are training you to be defensive not offensive, even though that is what they said the class was about. Um, so ethical hacking concepts and scope. So we're going to discuss ethical hacking, the concepts of it and scope and the differences between hacking concept types and phases, right? So we're going to compare and contrast there a little bit. And then we're going to have a discussion about information security controls, what those may look like, what's available today. And then information security laws and standards. So the internet is an integral part of business and personal life. Um, what happens online in 60 seconds? So we have YouTube, Pinterest, Google, WordPress, email, um, Amazon, people buying, selling, using their computing power. It's not just about shopping, right? Amazon has a lot of stuff, watching movies, entertainment. We have Snapchat, Skype, people communicating iTunes, music, it's huge. Um, video is also huge. Instagram, Twitter, people communicating, letting each other know what's going on. That's a huge attack vector right there. Um, Facebook, YouTube, so on and so forth. So this is kind of a breakdown of what happens um, in 60 seconds on the internet. And we're going to discuss some uh, breaches along the way of this course. So for example, there was a uh, data breach at Target and Home Depot. And the IRS just had a big one as well. So did uh, the government. They had some information stolen from a bunch of military personnel that had security clearances. So then they can either uh, trick someone into thinking that they're one of those people and get a job. And maybe they can fake that that security clearance is theirs and be exposed to that sensitive information. Big, big problem with that, right? 
The IRS has record stolen, which is giving people um, identities. Um, so now those people can present those identities and file more taxes and get money free back from the government. For somebody else that paid in, they get their refund. So the people that paid in all that extra money that they shouldn't have paid in, people think that um, I get my tax money back that it's money from the government, but really it's just overpayment along the year. What you wanna do is you just wanna pay in enough. So I bet that people are going to learn this fact now and probably start paying less and less in so they get it about just right, right? Because you're giving the government free use of your money for that extra time, that whole year. So there's a chart floating around out there about the year of the mega breaches. So we've had really big breaches now. But the thing is, is they're just coming to light. Those people have been owned for a long time. They've, been, they've had people, their networks have been compromised for a long time. They're not new, uh, they're just becoming, one, they're becoming more and more public, so they've been going on, they're not new. And then the number of records stolen before they catch it is new. So people are stealing massive amounts of information because of the network speeds, and storage on the other end is becoming cheaper and cheaper. They have a place to store. Usually they just use your network as the repository they just go and got what they needed so if you want six thousand credit cards i'll go get you six thousand you want another six thousand i'll get you another six thousand they just go back and forth to the network and get it well today our controls are becoming a little better um, people are starting to check this stuff more they're finding out where how people are getting in through penetration testing and security assessments um, so we're starting to understand that things are happening they're putting um uh, monitoring deep packet inspection over encrypted channels so we're starting to see that there are hackers on networks and it's, so it's becoming a little more public it's not oh my gosh what happened this year why are there so many breaches these things have been going on for years and years they're just finding out about them so it's just uh, it's not something new mm -hmm.